Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a software called VidVoicer. Now, when I first heard of VidVoicer, I thought it was a text-to-speech engine. And honestly, that didn't impress me one bit, because there's been plenty of text-to-speech softwares out there, and the world probably doesn't need another one. Now, VidVoicer is indeed a text-to-speech engine. It, it actually does let you type in text and convert it to speech which you can then download and use later for whatever purpose you want but it actually does so much more than that now what i want to do is i want to show you the main functionality of the software and then i want to show you all the extras that they include for free with vidvoicer because this thing really is jammed packed full of value Okay, so as I said, it does have a text-to-speech engine, so you can go ahead, you can click the speech converter, you can pick your language that you want, enter your title, pick your engine voice, and these voices, they do sound a little bit robotic. However, text-to-speech voices have gotten a lot better. They do sound a lot more natural than they did just a couple of years ago. Now, granted, they still don't sound exactly like humans. I mean, the inflection is a little hard, but they sound pretty darn good for today's purposes. So once you go ahead and select your voice, you can go ahead and enter in your text. You can click a button and you can download the text as a, an audio file. I should say you should you can download the text read by the text-to-speech engine as an audio file. Okay, that's great. That's not too impressive, but it's kind of a cool feature. What's really cool about this is the fact that it allows you to make videos with text-to-speech. Let me explain exactly how that works. I'm going to go over and I'm going to click on videos and I'm going to click on create video. Now the kind of videos that you create with this are the VSL style videos. So there's a spoken word for the audio, there's some music in the background, and the spoken word is also shown on the screen as text. We've all seen videos like that before. A lot of people in the IM space like to use those kind of videos for sales videos because honestly they convert really well. The problem with those kind of videos is that, quite frankly, they're a bit of a pain to make. I mean, if you're using a traditional video editor, they're actually kind of hard to make. You have to put the text inside of the video creator. You have to upload your audio once you record it. You have to make sure your text matches your, your audio. It's kind of a pain to make those videos, but they do convert well, and that's why people use them. However, with this software, it's extremely easy to make those kind of videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make one right now and you're gonna see exactly how easy it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna enter fourth test because this is the fourth time I'm testing this. The next thing you wanna do is select your font family. Now there's a couple of different fonts. I personally like impact, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. I can select my font size. I'm gonna change this to 48 because I like slightly bigger fonts. Uh, by font color. The default here is to have white text on a black background. I don't want that. I want to have black text on a white background. Now I can pick any color combination I want. That's just my personal choice. Black text on a white background. So I'll go ahead and select that. It's going to ask me for the video resolution that I want. Plain HD 720p resolution is perfectly fine for the internet. I know a lot of times people like to, you know, think about these big 4K, you know, video files. They, they don't do anybody any good. Most monitors can't display them anyway, and all you're doing is making the file huge, which makes it longer for it to download for people that have slower internet. You're not doing any favors with a big 4K video, so just select 720p, which is the default. The next thing to do is go ahead and select your background music. Now you can upload your own background music if you want, but they do provide several musics. Uh, some of them aren't that great. Most of them are pretty good though, so you can go ahead and search through each one, play it until you find one that you like. I'm just gonna pick this BG12 randomly, uh, just because I am only doing a test. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna select the background music volume. Now remember what I said, these kind of videos are text on screen, and then a voice reading the text. Well, if you have background music, you don't want it too loud because then it will interfere with the reading of the text. You want it to be like in the background. You want it to be there, but not too obtrusive. So what you want to do is change the background music volume. Default is far too loud in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 0.25, which means the volume is only going to be at 25%. I'm going to go ahead and select that. It's then gonna ask me for which voice that I want. And there are several voices here, both male and female. You can go ahead and click on the play button to test the voices out and see which one you want. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one at random. I'll select Sarah. Next thing you do is simply enter in your text. 
Now, when you enter in your text, you just don't want to type in one long paragraph because you want your text to show up in slides. So that's, and again, we've seen these videos before. A little bit of text shows, then it goes away and it says the next bit of text. You want your text to show up in sections, not just one big, huge paragraph of text on one single screen. So you want to enter in your text in slides. So in order to enter the text, I'm going to go ahead and just start typing some random text. This is my text. And now what I'll do is I'll click on enter, go to a new line, and click on add slide break. Now you can see right here it says I have nine slides remaining. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's actually nine breaks remaining. So that means I have a total of 12 slides in my video. That is the maximum. And it's a bit of a limitation, but 12 is going to be plenty for most videos. With 12 slides, you're going to have a two or three minute video, which is going to be more than enough for most purposes. You don't really want to have a video like this be super long, because frankly, after a long time, people will stop watching it anyway. One thing I did notice about this software is, though, is that it's very sensitive to the way you enter in your text. So you can see I have my text, and then I pressed enter, and I went to a new line, and then I clicked on slide break. If I didn't do that, it kind of messed up the software a little bit. So you really want to enter it in this way with your text and then the slide break on a new line. Another thing I noticed is if you put in too much text on a single line, it kind of gets cut off on the side of the video. So for example, I am putting in too much text inside of this single line. It's probably going to get cut off. So you can see I have, I misspelled the word there. You can see on this particular line, I have a ton of text. I actually wrote the sentence. I'm putting too much text uh, inside of this single line. It's probably going to get cut off. And it will get cut off because it's one long line of text. So what you want to do is actually shorten it into individual lines. And this way it will display that way inside of the slide. So now that we're going to have one slide that says this is my text, we're going to have another slide that has three lines of text because that's how I've entered it inside of the editor. I'll go ahead and click on slide break and add in another slide. I'll just type in this is my third slide. And I can continue on and on like that with each individual slide, entering the text as I want it formatted and entering slide break when I want to move over to another slide. Now, I'm not going to do that in this demo because, again, this is just a demo. Now, one thing I want to show you that's pretty cool about this software is how fast it makes your video. So most of the time when you buy a video creator online, you set it up, you create the video, and then it'll tell you, well, come back later and your video will be ready for you. This actually doesn't do that. It makes the video on the fly as your page is loading and it is quite fast I'm not going to edit this at all I'm going to go ahead and click on the create video button and I want you to see exactly how fast it is so I'll go ahead and click on create video and what was that that was about 10 seconds maybe 8 seconds it made my video for me and I was really surprised to see this because most of these video creator software You'll go ahead, you'll click create video, and it will do it in the background, but it'll take, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour to make your video, and you have to come back later. This software makes your video for you in just a few seconds. Now that I've created my video, I can go ahead and I can delete it. I can edit it, which will allow me to change some aspects of it, or I can go ahead and I can download it. I'll go ahead and I'll open up the video that I created just so you can see how it looks. This is my test. I am putting in too much test inside of this single line, it's probably going to get cut off. This is my third slide. Now granted that video wasn't very impressive, but it gives you an idea of what kind of videos it makes. Obviously there wasn't much to that video because I put absolutely no thought into what I entered into my slides. But you can get a pretty good idea of the style of videos that you make from that demo and again it's the explainer uh, vsl style videos that you see all over the place especially on internet marketing product sales pages now in addition to 
being able to create videos and create text to speech this does have a bunch of other things that they include for free and i was pretty impressed to see them uh, the first thing that i've noticed is the hd videos so if i go ahead and click on hd videos you can see there are thousands of stock videos that you can download so each one is broken up into categories for example city and urban water winter work and if you download that what you actually get is a zip file and each one has dozens of videos inside of it so you don't just download one city and urban video you sound you download 44 city and urban videos you don't download one water video you download dozens of videos dozens of winter videos dozens of work videos these are all stock videos that you can use in your marketing for free and that's a pretty cool thing that they added inside of there another very cool thing is the bonuses so if you actually go ahead and click on bonuses if you actually look there are a ton of bonuses here there's actually 21 bonuses that you can get for free as extras with this software and that's a pretty cool extra feature as well again they definitely pack this with value honestly being able to convert text to speech didn't impress me however being able to make these explainer vsl style videos fast and easy is super cool and the extra stuff that they provide the extra downloaded stock videos the extra bonuses just makes it even better this for sure is a great value but of course i wanted to make it an even better value so i've added some extra bonuses for anybody who picks this up through me so below this video you're going to see either a link or if you're already on the bonus page you're going to see the bonuses themselves you're also going to see a timer if you're on the bonus page if you pick up vidvoicer through me before that timer expires you're going to get all the bonuses that you see on my bonus page just make sure you claim those bonuses right away because when the timer expires i won't be allowing anybody to get them anymore thank you and enjoy